In this video, I'm gonna show you a different little way to get some A-gap pressure out of the nickel 335 odd in Madden 22. What's going on guys, my name is Cody and I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is focusing in on helping people become the best Madden players they can possibly become. So if you're looking to get better at this game, be sure to subscribe. We do videos like this every single day that break down a defensive or offensive tip that can help you get better at Madden. Now, um, in this video, like I said, I'm talking about the nickel 335 odd, and I'm going to be going over the LB cross 3 show 2. This is probably my favorite play uh, in Madden 22. I have so many different ways that I like to run this play um, because I think that it creates some very unique and very effective uh, pressure that we can really leverage, and it also has great run defense because, or specifically for inside zone because the formation is basically set up. If you think about it, because your, your looper is coming in he's going to be able to shut down most of the inside zones that you might be facing in Madden so that being said let's jump into the video if you want to get my entire nickel 335 odd defensive system I'm going to put a link to that in the description we've got a guide uh, that we've put together and it's been super super effective we've updated it several times over the first couple of uh, weeks of the game and guys like I've said if there's any ever any patch that comes out or ever anything that changes I will update you in the ebook with those so um, you know it's a it's a guide that you're gonna be able to use all years all season long anyway let's get into the LB cross 3 show 2 and we're gonna be showing this specifically against gun bunch uh, when the gun bunch is flipped okay so what that means is the bunch is to the left now we're gonna show you the same setup on the other side to show you how it works because they will work on both sides this year but uh, just just kind of wanted to put that out there so anyway how the blitz is going to work here's what we're gonna do we are going to spread our defensive line and we're going to crash our line down and that's it that's the setup we're done we're gonna use her this guy right here. Now you can choose if you wanna leave him on a blitz or if you wanna leave him on a zone. Uh, I just like to hold left trigger. And what you'll see is that blitz will oftentimes come completely through the A-gap. Now I will say that I have found that that blitz is actually a little bit more consistent whenever I put this guy on a zone. So I'm gonna put this guy on a zone. And again, I'm gonna stand like right here and at the snap of the ball, I'm just going to come down and go out into coverage. And as you'll see, we're able to get that looper coming around and we get that edge rush as well. Now, there's a couple of other ways that we can set this up uh, to make it a little bit more effective. But this is honestly my favorite thing to do. The last step is to QB contain. If you want to QB contain, you certainly can. And literally just drop back into coverage. That's all you're going to do. And there you see there's the A-gap pressure that I'm talking about. You don't have to, What I like about this blitz is I don't have to really stand... Like, I just want to make sure that I don't get too close to the line of scrimmage. So I can back off and kind of be like over in here. And this blitz will be just as effective. As you'll see right here, comes in and we're able to get that pressure. So that's the idea. That's the concept. It's just a simple five-man pressure that oftentimes will get uh, pressure. And again, if I, I found that if I QB contain, uh, the pressure is a little bit more likely to come through the middle um, as opposed to coming off the edge. So as you see right here, I QB contain, and it comes right down the A-gap every single time. So that's the idea. So now I want to show it to you uh, flipped. And I'm going to talk a little bit about some things they can do to pick this up uh, real quick. The first thing that they're going to try to do uh, is they're probably going to try to block their tight ends. They're going to put their tight end on like a delay fade. Um, I have found that this doesn't do a great job picking this up. As you can see right there, we're able to loop in and we're able to get easy pressure. Now, what about the running back? So what I have found um, from a running back perspective is if they block their running back, um, it doesn't always pick it up. It does sometimes pick it up. It doesn't always pick it up. So you see something like that. You'll see him come through, and he gets cut blocked just like that. So that's, you know, if they block the running back, okay, they got us. We've got some other things we can do uh, against a blocked running back. For example, uh, another thing that we could easily do if they're blocking their running back a lot is we could just send the slot. So we could blitz the slot corner off the right side and you'll see here now, we're just gonna come down and as you'll see, somebody's gonna come looping around that time. Isaiah Simmons for whatever reason is getting a little caught up on that side. But anyways, that's the idea. Now, this blitz is about thousand, in my opinion, it's about a thousand times better to the other, uh, to the other side. So let me show you that. So I just want to show it to you where it's worse first, just to show you it does work on that side. It just, I did, they're running, if they block a running back, they're going to have a pretty good chance at picking it up. So let me just run this to the other side now because we have the auto flip on. 
and you'll see that this is pretty good. So again, we're going to spread our defensive line and we're gonna crash our line down. And then like I said, I like to QB contain. I feel like that helps the consistency. And we're just gonna kind of stand right here. And as soon as the ball snap, we're gonna jump into coverage. So we're gonna hold left trigger and ball snap. We jump into coverage. And what you see is we're getting freaking screaming pressure uh, at the quarterback. So I love this blitz on this side of the field. Um, I like it on the other side too. It is good. It's just not, in my opinion, it's better on this side um, just because of some of the other concepts that we create. But as you see here, we're just backing away. Um, that time we got picked up. But again, I have found too, the other thing about this is the looping pressure. If you run it a bunch of times in practice mode, for whatever reason, it can be a little bit, it, it can be a little bit, make it a little bit inconsistent. Um, he doesn't always come looping around sharply like we want him to. Um, you know, so that's kind of something to be aware of. Another thing you can do to help this a little bit is pinch your linebackers. You'll see that if I pinch my linebacker, I get this really sharp angle. And you see that right there is really good. As you can see, we're getting the A-gap pressure. And nine times out of ten, that A-gap pressure will 100% occupy that guard. Um, so all we need to do is we just need to, you know, focus on that right there. And there you see, that time I think my, my line crash or my line adjustment didn't register. So let me show you that again. So again, we're just spreading our line. And we're going to go right here. And at the snap of the ball, we're just going to come down and out. Just like that. And there you see, there's the A-gap and edge. That's what I'm talking about. So you'll get that a lot. And even if you don't get that, what I have found is I get this a lot where basically... Um, like I'll snap the ball and you'll see that that running back will basically naturally want to go pick up to the middle So you see that right there That's why I like this blitz so much because if they block a running back They're not going to be able to stop this the other reason why I like this blitz a little bit better um, and, and I'm starting to really really run this a lot is because of what we're going to be able to do Like if they block a tight end so let me show you that real quick. So do that there we go And I'm gonna block the tight end so if you watch this I'm just going to delay fit the tight end. You'll see that, again, same kind of thing. You're oftentimes going to get A-gap. That time I got a weird angle or whatever. The, the Where you stand with your user is everything. So really quickly here, let me show you this. You don't have to, like, hover or anything. You just have to kind of, like, sit here for just a second. Um, and as you see, I just want to be triggering the guard. That's who we're kind of messing with on the splits, if you will. So that's just something to kind of be aware of. But anyway, I'm just kind of standing, like, right here. And if they block that tight end, you'll see here, oftentimes I'm going to get that left edge pressure. For whatever reason, I'm not. Isaiah Simmons is kind of selling me out right now. But normally you would get that left edge pressure um, even if they block, even if they block uh, a tight end. Okay? Even if they do that. So, you know, again, oftentimes, and I'll show you, I'll just come down just a step. And there you see it. That's what I'm talking about. So they block, you know, there you go. Now, um, what about Max Protect? Max Protect, honestly, like, it does do pretty good against this blitz. Um, but there are occasions where I've found this thing to work really well against Max Protect because like that right there, you see that looper comes in and that running back doesn't always know how to pick him up. The other reason why I really like this blitz um, specifically against Max Protect, uh, whoops, let me do, it's important to spread your line first before you do anything with your linebackers, by the way. But, um, the reason I like this against Max Protect is because, again, watch what we do to the running back. See how we suck him in? And then you see that. See how, like, see how it kind of fights in a lot? That's why I like this a lot against Max Protect. Because it's not 100% consistent in the fact that we're going to be able to just basically bank on the fact that we're going to get pressure. But what it does do, I, I feel like he's at least, the quarterback's going to feel the pressure coming in. And oftentimes you'll see that looper doesn't get, most of the time he doesn't get cut blocked. So he'll either get a quick shed or he'll push the pocket a little bit. Like he makes the opponent feel the pressure. And that's one of the main reasons why I really do like this blitz because that is going to really help us out significantly. So again, let me show you this max protect. I actually no normally can get this to come in against max protect. I think my, my, uh, my, my little swerve thing is not messing with him too much. But normally, you will see this does actually come in against Max Protect a fair amount. That left side pressure will, uh, will most of the time be in a position where it will come in. So again, we'll just do that. Kind of bring this right here. I'm going to go Max Protect. And you see that? Run see, that's what I'm talking about. And I get that a lot against Max Protect on both sides. Because that looper just so sucks up that running back. Uh, really, really well. But the cool part is because the looper is coming 
from the right side of the field, the delay fade doesn't doesn't really do anything to him. He'll never block him. The tight end will never pick him up. And so as you see, we're screaming against Max Protect Bunch, sending five. Um, so I absolutely love this. One other pro tip with this defense. Um, this is just something you can try, is try to zone out that right side guy. Okay, so you see here, I'm gonna zone out the right side guy, and I just wanna show you what happens. You see we get a little bit of a weird animation, it doesn't always work, but there's times, and I will tell you, there have been times where I have gotten really, really good pressure, only sending four out of this. Um, so that's just something that you can think about trying or whatever, but you know, just something to, to kind of mess with. As you see there, we get the looping or the edge pressure. Oftentimes I will get that looper to sometimes come through that A-gap as well. But anyways, um, you know, this is, honestly guys, this is probably my favorite play uh, in the game. I find I keep finding new ways to run it. The other thing you could do is you can actually, and this is actually probably a better way to run this in my opinion, is I'll take, uh, for example, like I'll, I'll play, I'll turn this into, you know, something like this, where we're, we're gonna have maybe like a, I don't know, like a hard flat there. And then I'm going to use her the safety, bring him down. I find that to be just a, just as, if not more effective against this, as you see, just screaming right through the A-gap. So the type of pressure, in my opinion, that you're getting is really valuable because you're going to push the pocket so in such a way that really puts them in a bad position, in my opinion, because they can't, they, it's a very good contained defense too. Um, if you want to contain out of this, it's really good, um, as I showed earlier. But as you see, I mean, you're just screaming at them. Somebody's coming in. Uh, most of the time, you're going to get at least one person free. And a lot of times, you're going to get two people free. And I absolutely love what this defense does oftentimes to max protect is we can basically just suck in that running back just like that. And a lot of times, you'll get that looping edge pressure. Isaiah Simmons didn't come in there, but a lot of times he will. And I will tell you that in game, I find this blitz to be super, super consistent, specifically against um, specifically against Max Protect. And like I said, I like to bring this guy down just like this. And again, just come in. And as you see, screaming pressure against Max Protect. Thanks for watching the video. Sorry I was a little long, took me a little bit to get into the into the tip, uh, but I appreciate you guys being patient. And those of you that have not picked up this 335 defensive guide yet, I would really encourage you to do it. This defense is a lot of fun and it's a lot, I think it's very effective. Um, there's a lot of different ways to run it that make it super, super glitchy and super effective. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you wanna get my 335 odd defensive ebook, there's a link in the description and you can click on that link and it'll take you right to the website and you can get that defensive guide for just $15.